Coast Professional Wrestling presented by the Gulf Coast Wrestling Association. Tonight's action will get underway in just a moment. Hi, sports fans. This is Jack Bitterman. Remember, it's wrestling tonight on television. You'll see outstanding matches. Gulf Coast Wrestling at its very best. On the card tonight, the pro, Big Red, it'll be the challengers. Terry Thornton, Eddie Sullivan, Chief Thundercloud, Dandy Jack Donovan. Many, many more on Gulf Coast Wrestling on television. We know you're going to enjoy it. Stay tuned for an exciting evening of the best in wrestling. That's Gulf Coast Wrestling. So stay with us. It's going to be a real exciting night. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first match of the evening. It will be one fall with a 10-minute time limit. One fall, 10 minutes. Our opening match. Introducing, first on my left, from Hollywood, California, weighing 235 pounds, here is Dandy Jack Donovan. Dandy Jack Donovan. His opponent tonight in the opposite corner from the Indian Reservation at San Carlos, Arizona, weighing 200 Upon and Dandy Jack Donovan working now at the arms trying to break this hold. And a shot to the midsection. Chief Thundercloud's head goes right to the middle. They're not moving around as much as they were in the early part of the match. Step over toe hold. Thundercloud has it. It's a 10 minute match and we have about oh about seven minutes to go, I would say. Tom, about seven. Tom Thornton at my side on my right. He says that's right. Have about that time, maybe a little less than that. Now they're to a standing position again. Moving around the ring. Is that hatchet chop? That's well, not quite a hatchet chop that uh, Thundercloud uses. Thundercloud trying to step away, gets... Those shots are to the thigh of Dandy Jack Donovan. Trying to get away from Thundercloud. Thundercloud keeps... whacking away at that uh, left thigh of Donovan. Opening bout on tonight's card. Donovan saying lay off just a little bit. One of our spectators comes up with the whistle at ringside. Shot to the middle by Thundercloud, another one. And Donovan banging away at him, and now they're shooting those rights and lefts. Donovan comes into the corner, shaking that leg. Thundercloud wants to work on the leg. So we have a little while to go in this match. Oh, 
Thunderclass got those fists. Oh, kick to the midsection by Donovan. Clip to the chin by Donovan. Another right hand. That spills Thundercloud to the canvas. And Thundercloud is outside the ring. Thundercloud outside, trying to get back in now. And Donovan comes to him immediately. Into the ring buckles goes Thundercloud. Another shot. Now Donovan is doing the attacking. We've got about a minute to go in this bout. He's got a reverse press now, but there's Thundercloud with his left foot. You see it? Over the bottom strand of the ropes. And that's an automatic break call. So there goes those warrior drums by Thundercloud's son in the Indian dance. Thundercloud is now coming in there. Into the ring buckles. Oh, but Thundercloud catches a kick to the midsection, another to the face, and now the press is by Donovan. Can't hold it, Thundercloud is out. Time shrinking down now in this match, slaying into the rope. Right hand shot sends Donovan to the canvas. Does not hold, Thundercloud cannot get it. Flying mare by Donovan, he's trying that reverse press. Turn around. And Thundercloud has him in good position, but now Donovan has Thundercloud, but Donovan's left leg is outside the ring. So we're just about over in this match, and it's been even throughout. And off the rope comes Donovan, and there's the bell. Going to be a draw, 10 minute draw. Scheduled for 10, neither man could uh, come up with uh, a unique hole to win the match. And it's a draw between Dandy Jack Donovan, Chief Thundercloud. Now let's take a wrestling timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match will be a tag team bout, two out of three falls with a 60 minute time limit. Two out of three, 60 minutes the time limit in this tag team bout. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, on my left, the Gulf Coast Tag Team Wrestling Champions, a combined weight of 480 pounds. Here are the challengers, the challengers. Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions. This is a non-title match. Opposing them tonight in the opposite corner at 239 pounds, here is the wrestling pro number two. Wrestling pro number two. And his partner from Atlanta, Georgia at 351 pounds, we introduce to you now Big Red. Big Red. Two out of three falls, 60 minutes the time limit. Thank you. Okay, this should be a real slam bang battle in this tag team match. It'll be two out of three. The time limit will be one hour. And you see in the far corner, the Gulf Coast Tag Team Wrestling Champions, the challengers. This is a non-title bout, however. So their crown is not out. And it's the pro number two against Challenger number one, gonna identify him by the numbers. 
He wears the glove, as you know, we talked about many times. And the pro gets a shot right there on the back of the head of the challenger. And he tags off to challenger number two, and they're complaining about uh, the pro using his fists. Well, we'll see. So we have the battle of mask men here. Shot to the chin by the pro. Ruby Gibson, the referee in this match. Big Red, crowd's been waiting for this. Gets that side headlock on challenger number one. Boy, and he stomps away at him. He'll break through that ring before it's over. And the challenger tried to get up and could not make it. His partner was coming over to help. It's two out of three falls. enjoying the action in the ring certainly as you can hear by their response challenger number two is in there against uh, big red now big red's gonna hurl him across the ring into the rope and shoulders him gives the tag off to the pro pro coming in there now to do battle with Challenger one. Good move, a hammerlock applied. Hard one, too. He put some power on it, put some muscle into it. Pro number two. Walking around, and he greets the second challenger who came into the ring without a tag and has him whirling about now. Clamp the hammerlock on him immediately. So we've got it going in this one. Tag team feature. Whoa! That rope. That pro picked him up, and he's carrying him into the corner over to Big Red. Here's a present for you, Red. And Red gives him a little few taps, like you'd be doing to a small child. That's challenger number two that's in the ring now. Gave him a little spanking there. Crowd enjoyed that. They're trying to work Red into the corner, and here comes Challenger 1. Using an elbow smash on Big Red, goes to the chokehold. Comes off of that and is told to break. They've got Big Red by the T-shirt now, and here comes the pro over to help his partner. And they're both in the ring. Into the turnbuckles goes Big Red. He's catching it now. These two, the challengers, Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions, weigh at 480 combined. They're really in there. Throws over again. He's not going to let his partner become isolated in that corner. And listen to the crowd here. As Big Red has it all by himself, he's taking a little punishment now, too. Boy, he unloads that right hand again. Uses his head now to the mask of Challenger 2, and Challenger 1's caught by the pro in that far corner. Here is Somersault him to the canvas. That pro has some excellent moves, too, the wrestling pro. Into the turnbuckles. 
Well, these challengers are tagging off pretty fast. Into the ropes and out. Whoop! Body drop by the pro. Well, the golf coach. Oh, he, that time as the pro came, rather the uh, challenger came off of the ropes. Gave Pro a good kick to the midsection with a lot of leverage. And they run the Pro's head right into challenger number one's foot. Pro's kind of, kind of out of it right now. Looks a little woozy. And the challengers are taking advantage of it. Another shot to the chin. Challenger one working over the Pro right now. Oh boy, they're putting on the speed, but they've got some time to go. This is a one hour match. Two out of three falls. Okay. And they've got the pro slugging away at him. And he elbows him. That was challenge. Oh, an elbow drop and a hard one, too. The reverse press is on the pro. They've got it. They've got it. The challengers take the first fall. Challengers take the first fall in this two out of three fall match. And now we'll be back with more wrestling action in just a moment. We're ready to go. This is our second fall just underway. Bell just rang, so you didn't miss any of it. Right back on the scene, the Challengers Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions won the first fall from the Pro and Big Red. This is two out of three. The time limit is one hour, and now again the Challengers are to the advantage, this time on the Pro. Pro was pinned. He seemed to be a little woozy earlier in the uh, match when he was caught in the challenger's corner. Didn't seem to quite recover from it. There's a flip over body drop by the pro. He's trying to get to Big Red and is not able to make it. Challenger takes him by the trunks. Here comes Challenger 1. And gets that knee right into the middle of the wrestling pro. Right to the midsection that time. And they're tagging off very fast in this match. Those challengers are really moving. They, they love these Gulf Coast title belts, the tag team championship. Yeah, well, I don't know. There wasn't a tag on that one that time. Hammer chop. Challenger two now has the wrestling pro who could not get to Big Red earlier. He's trying desperately to reach it. And the fans urging the pro to take a shot at the jump. Now he does with a push elbow. Tries to get in that corner again, but cannot make it. Pro's having a rough time. There's the tag. Ooh, and that ch challenger one really, really took a shot at the kidneys of the pro. Boy, and now he's ready to get after Big Red, Challenger 1, while Challenger 2 in the corner is working over and holding the Pro by the trunks there until the referee tells him to break. Pro coming back in there. And again, Pro, the Pro is against those ropes, and both Challengers working on him. He doesn't quite... Now he gets a good shot. That was a good right by the pro, and now Big Red is there to hammer away. He caught the challenger. Boy, this is fast and furious action in this tag team event. Non-title match, but you wouldn't think so to be looking at it. They've got the pro. He's trying to get out. And here comes Big Red stalking over. He's got challenger number two. But they're still after the pro. 
They're still after the pro. And the fans after the referee. Telling him to watch the two challengers. Now they're both in the ring again and an elbow to the throat. By challenger one. Pressing now to Seaton. That's one, that's all. The pro has been taking the brunt of the punishment from two men now. In this second fall, the challengers won the first fall. Pro trying to get to his partner. Oh, and challenger came over and whacked at Big Red that time. And the pro is shoulder driving challenger one to the corner and he's ordered out of the ring. Big Red wants to see some action here, but his partner can't get to him. Down goes the pro. That face lock is clamped on by challenger number two. They don't like to be called by the numbers, but that's the only way we can identify them to you. We don't know who's in the ring half of the time. Get the, no! Just missed the tag by about a half inch to Big Red. Tag off is to challenger number one now. Now Big Red comes in anyway. Comes in anyway. Belting away at challenger one, but they won't give in. And they want the pro in their corner, the challengers do. Stopping at him. There's a kick. So we have it going here. Well, the pro now has come to life, and he is really nailing. Oh, suplex. Beautifully done by the pro, and they've got it. They've got it, the pro. With a sensational suplex, and he does it well, as well as we've seen anybody do it. And he flattened challenger number two. They're squared away at one fall each. Challenger number one is complaining. Even up at one fall in this bout. All right, Gulf Coast Wrestling will continue in just a moment. the bell we're even at one fall apiece in this match it's two out of three falls and what about this has been a knee drop the pro has challenger number two and up he goes and down he goes hitting that mat and hitting it hard too there's that suplex again and he's covered but challenger one comes in to kick off the pro He can handle that suplex, the pro can, as well as anyone we've seen here. It comes and gets, no, he couldn't get all that he wanted on that one. Couldn't get all, he's kicked off again. He didn't, he didn't get the right grip on that one. He was trying for another suplex. Now he is again, there he's got it, he's high, down. He's got it, beautifully done. He got that height he wanted on that one. He's been striving for that, but has had a lot of trouble. He's now being kicked in the head by challenger number one. He's working on his mask. And outside the ring he goes. The pro is outside the ring. And now Big Red has gone wild against the challengers. 
And he's falling off and cleaning up the ring right now. Have you ever seen such wrestling action? And, oh, and they, they both nail Big Red with the elbows. And the Boston Crab, and each one has a leg on Big Red. Both challengers using the Boston Crab, but he's so big, each one is taking a leg. The pro is outside of the ring. He was thrown out. Here he comes in. And shoulder blocks. Yeah, flailing away now. The pro is in there against the challengers, but Big Red is on the canvas. He was double elbowed, and the bell is ringing, and the referee has called a halt to this. And there you see challenger number one coming off the ropes, off the high rope that time. Now they work on Big Red, stomping on Big Red, they're trying to get him outside the ring, and they succeed in doing that. Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions in a non-title bout. One holding. Challenger one hitting. Here he climbs on the top strand of the rope, comes out again. Oh, and he's drawing blood now. He's drawing blood on the wrestling pro, and he had Hit him tremendously. Crow bleeding at the mask. Now they're going to try to get that mask off of him. No, they just grabbed by the mask. But here he comes outside the ring again. Down on the ring floor. And listen to the crowd react with their bows to the challengers. The pro is bloody. And also Big Red is outside of the ring, and he has been clobbered. And there are the challengers hoisting now. There you see the pro leading at the face as the belts go up by the challengers. Well, more Gulf Coast wrestling action will be underway in just a few moments. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match will be one fall with a 20-minute time limit. One fall, 20 minutes in our next match. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, on my left from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing 240 pounds, has just returned from a successful wrestling tour in Japan. We introduce to you now Eddie Sullivan. Eddie Sullivan. His opponent tonight is a 235 from Chattanooga, Tennessee. We present to you now Terry Thornton. Terry Thornton. This is one fall. The time limit is 20 minutes. Thank you. This is a one fall, 20 minute match, and Eddie Sullivan, who has just returned from Japan, and a very successful tour, by the way, toured throughout the islands of Japan, taking part in meeting Japanese wrestlers, and it's very well. Terry Thornton, spells his name like uh, you do, Tom. T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N. Terry Thornton, overhead wrist lock by Eddie Sullivan, clamps it on. Working on Thornton now. Thornton trying to break out of the hold. Sullivan's a seasoned wrestler, as you know. 
Man knows his way around the ring. He's traded holes with the best in the business. And I see on his right shoe he has Super Sully. I hadn't noticed that before. Super Sully on his, well, you can't see it right there, on his right and left foot, boots. Facing a big man here. Sullivan trying to work, work on him. He has him by the throat. He has Thornton by the throat now. Jimmy McGuire is the referee in this match. And uh, he is warning Eddie Sullivan of a chokehold. Sullivan said no. Did not did it. Jack Bitterman at ringside from Mobile's Expo Hall and Gulf Coast Wrestling at its best. We know you've enjoyed the matches tonight. We've had some terrific ones. That tag team bout was uh, just a thriller from the opening bell. Two out of three falls. And the challengers against the pro and Big Red were something. This promises to be another outstanding match. Have about uh, for the Gulf Coast Championship between Ken Lucas and Sweet Daddy Banks. But as it's going now, we may not uh, get into that one. Eddie Sullivan stalking Thornton now. Go to the referee's position. Thornton into the corner. Sullivan has in there, watch that smash. And Thornton delivers one in return very nicely. Comparatively young wrestler. Looks good in the ring. And Sullivan knows how to size up his opponents though, I tell you. He works them over good. Just works to a certain pitch now. Does very well. As in all other uh, sports and all other endeavors, experience plays a big part in wrestling. And as you watch the matches, you can see where a veteran knows just about how to size up his opponent. So Sullivan going right after Thornton again now. Going after Thornton. And the referee is warning Sullivan to keep his fists up. Into the ring on the slick. Ooh, and did Thornton catch that one? Boy, oh boy, that's that crab again, that Boston crab that Sullivan has on Thornton. Into the ropes, he went, he can't, no more, that's it. That's it, Sullivan won't break the hold. Will not break the hold, now he does. Well, if you notice very carefully, you saw Sullivan sling Thornton into the ropes, take him off of the ropes, turn him around, applied the Boston Crab and won the match. Sullivan is the winner, so he's back from Japan on a triumphant note in the Gulf Coast area with an initial victory. And that is it. So, well, let's take another time out. Gulf Coast Wrestling will return very shortly. minute time limit. One fall, 45 minutes. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, making his first appearance in Mobile, on my left, weighing 245 pounds, we introduce to you now the intern, the intern. And his manager, Dr. Ken Ramey, the manager of the intern. Ladies and gentlemen, due to conditions 
beyond his or our control. Greg Peterson could not be here tonight. Replacing him in this bout from Arizona at 226 pounds, here is Chief Thundercloud. Chief Thundercloud. The match, one fall, the time limit, 45 minutes. Our main event championship match will follow. Thank you. The intern making his first appearance in Mobile with the manager, Dr. Ken Ramey. First time the good doctor has been with the intern. Chief Thundercloud, Greg Peterson, due to conditions beyond his control, was unable to appear on the car tonight. Chief Thundercloud is wrestling for the second time this evening. So this is one fall, 45 minutes. And I doubt uh, very much, ladies and gentlemen, whether we'll be able to bring you the Gulf Coast Championship match tonight, unless this one ends very early and we get underway. We do not have too much TV time remaining. Thundercloud working now. On the intern, Dr. Ramey in the intern's corner. Keeps yelling at the referee to watch Thundercloud very carefully. There you see him, Dr. Ken Ramey. Fierce looking fellow, isn't he? Side headlock by Thundercloud. And the intern wedges out of it. He's got some strength too, he's big. Boy. Dr. Ramey is uh, a noisy individual. Makes a lot of noise at ringside. Thundercloud. Now over the intern. Thundercloud, a very fine wrestler. Works kind of silently, but uh, is very effective. And we'll see how the intern goes tonight. And taken down is the intern. And I would imagine, Tom, we have about five minutes remaining somewhere. In this is a 45-minute match, but our TV time remaining only about five minutes. So we doubt very much we can bring you the Ken Lucas Sweet Daddy Banks Gulf Coast Championship match. Boy, time moves fast when you're watching Gulf Coast wrestling, I'll tell you. Can't believe it. The intern into the turn. Oh, and Thundercloud moves away very effectively and arm drags the intern down to the mat. Good move by Thundercloud. And Dr. Ramey doesn't care for that too much. Watching very carefully. Well, we have about two minutes of TV time. And in the match, about 40 minutes. One fall with a 45 minute time limit. But our TV time is quickly elapsing. We know you've enjoyed Gulf Coast wrestling and when wrestling comes to your area, sure to be on hand. Intern whips Thundercloud into the turnbuckle. And a kick to the face by the intern, the Thundercloud. Oh, a smashing right by the intern. Gets right on him in that far corner right there. Intern forces bodily Chief Thundercloud in that corner. Thundercloud down to his knees. And Ramey, Dr. Ken Ramey did something. I, I didn't see that. He did something. The Chief Thundercloud. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
Again, we're sorry. We're unable to bring you the Gulf Coast Championship match due to the fact our TV time has just about run out. The match between the intern and Thundercloud. So we're watching this one now. It's got some time to go unless we have a pin early. So we'll be talking to you again very soon from the Expo Hall in downtown Mobile. This is Jack Bitterman speaking for Gulf Coast Wrestling at its best. And remember, when wrestling is on TV again, be right there at your screen and enjoy it with us. We're delighted to have you with us. Thank you very much. Have a very pleasant good night. Wrestling presented by the Gulf Coast Wrestling Association. Tonight's action will get underway in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gulf Coast Wrestling. And we have an outstanding card for you on television tonight. We want to tell you about it. And truly, when wrestling comes to your town, be sure to be right at ringside or in the stands and watch the thrilling Gulf Coast Wrestling action. So here's what we'll have for you on TV tonight. It'll be Greg Peterson going against Dick Dunn. And then Rip Tyler, back from Japan, will face the intern, who was managed by Dr. Ken Ramey. That'll be another match on the TV card tonight. And then Chief Thundercloud, always a favorite in the area, will meet Eddie Sullivan. And then we have a championship match for you tonight for the Gulf Coast Tag Team title. It'll be the wrestling pros against the challengers. Right at this time, the challengers hold the title belts, and they'll be defending them against pro number two, who brought in pro number one for the big challenge on tonight's TV card. So there's your lineup of Gulf Coast Wrestling. Always at its best, there's always plenty of thrilling action. And we're going to have that action for you tonight. So in just a few moments, we will have Gulf Coast Wrestling on television. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout, one fall with a 15-minute time limit, welcoming back these two fine wrestlers to the Gulf Coast area. First on my left from Bonifay, Florida, at 220 pounds, here is Greg Peterson. Greg Peterson. His opponent tonight from Lowry, Alabama, at 222 pounds. We introduce to you now Dynamite Dick Donovan. Dick Dunn, excuse me. Dick Dunn. Excuse me. After all these years. Dynamite Dick Dunn from Lowry, Alabama, ladies and gentlemen. Little slip of the tongue. One fall, 15 minutes, our opening match. Thank you. to Dick Dunn there. Yeah. Dynamite Dick Donovan. Well, it gets confusing after a while. But this is our opening right bout up, on wrestling at Mobile's Expo Hall. Right. We know you're going to enjoy the Hold evening on. of wrestling. Here are two fellows that uh, right, haven't been here in some time, but they do right, a superb right, job right, in the ring. Right. Back up. Back up. Both are veteran wrestlers. Been around some time. Dick Dunn with a side headlock now. Have an outstanding card for you tonight. Rip Tyler will be in action. Chief Thundercloud, Eddie Sullivan. 
be the pro, the challengers. Cowboy Bob Kelly and Ken Lucas against Sweet Daddy Banks in the intern. Rip Tyler meeting Oki Shakina. Some of the matches on the card tonight. And you'll be seeing them on Gulf Coast Wrestling right, at its right, best. Right, 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 kid. Back up, right. Back up, right. Opening bell. Underway here. Now, Greg Peterson has that body up. Arm sling by Dick Dunn takes down. Head scissors clamped on by Peterson. One fall, 15 minutes, the time limit. Referee is Jimmy McGuire in this opening match. Gets a one count on Greg Peterson, who is in no trouble at all, particularly right now. Dick Dunn has that double leg crossover, and he's trying to arch Peterson into a pin position. Greg holding up pretty good. Almost standing on his head now. And the referee is about to count one, but did not. Boy, you hear this loud voice behind us. He's giving all the coaching directions. All right, they're up now to a referee's position. Back into the corner they go. Good fast bout. No illegal chops or anything like that. Well, Dick, Dick Dunn got a little tired of all that yelling behind there. Said, if you're so smart, come into the ring. Greg Peterson to the slight advantage now. Not much of an advantage, really. Dick Dunn puts that right hand up under Greg's chin, forcing him away from him. So we've got Greg Peterson, Bonifay, Florida. And Dick Dunn from Lowry, Alabama. How about that double roll? Triple roll, actually, but they're under the ropes, and the break call comes from Jimmy McGuire, the referee. So they'll go back into position, and they hold each other very nice. Hold back on taking an unfair advantage. There's Greg Peterson going into a hammer lock, and a chin lock as he forces Dick Dunn down to the mat. Head scissors now on Dick Dunn, rather on Greg Peterson by Dick Dunn. So this time it's Dick Dunn who has the advantage. So they've been uh, going at it right here rather cautiously, rather quietly. And Peterson cannot break out of that head scissors by Dunn. Position being maintained by Dunn. The early part of the match was all to uh, Greg Peterson. But now it's Dick Dunn who has made a comeback. One fall, 15 minute match. Scheduled for that distance. And there, Peterson gets out of it very nicely. Well, that was the first time uh, they showed the muscle of a punch. 
Peterson started to deliver a shot. Dick Dunn right now. The advantage using an arm bar. Slang by Dunn. Dragged down by the Lowry, Alabama native. That is, he goes to the advantage. Dick Dunn now. Gets both those elbows back. And Greg Peterson backs him into the corner. Good, good. It's a one count only on Dick Dunn by Greg Peterson. He used that ahead scissors to flick Peterson over. Takedown is by Dunn. And Greg Peterson is out of it very nicely. Oh, he lost his grip there, Dunn did. And Greg Peterson slides right under him. And they come in position, and Peterson is the winner. Greg Peterson wins, and Dick Dunn does not really particularly care for that call. So the match is over, and Greg Peterson is the winner. Taking the opening fall in about eight minutes of action. So there is the end of the first match, and on Gulf Coast Wrestling, we're going to take a timeout. This is our second match of the evening. It will be one fall with a 20-minute time limit. One fall, 20 minutes. Introducing first on my left, weighing 250 pounds, here is the intern. The intern. His manager is Dr. Ken Ramey. Opposing the intern tonight in the opposite corner from Canada at 252 pounds. We introduce to you now Rip Tyler. Rip Tyler. This is one fall. The time limit is 20 minutes, our second match. Thank you. Two big fellas going at it. The intern and Rip Tyler. They'll be at it. And already Dr. Ken Ramey, the manager of the intern, who's going to be back. He's managing in a tag team match. Later on, Sweet Daddy Banks and the intern will be going at it. And he'll again be at ringside. Manager of the inter against Rip Tyler. And the intern. One fall, the time limit is 20 minutes. Drive into the ropes by the intern, and then Tyler shoulder butts him, slings him in a half mare, drops him down to the canvas. Starts off with a lot of action in this one. Lots of action in, in our second match of the evening. Hey, 
Rip Tyler. And the intern, Reuben Gibson, is our referee in this second match. Ken Ramey, Dr. Ramey now, is hurling instructions at his wrestler. Who is the intern? Tyler with a side headlock. Well, there's about uh, better than 500 pounds. Somebody stole doctor's chair there in the corner. He went after it and made the recovery. Forearm smash is missed by the intern and Tyler clamps on a side headlock once again. There you get a good shot. As our cameramen do outstanding work. Boy, that was a great takedown by Rip. All announcers are approved and appointed on Gulf Coast Wrestling by the Gulf Coast Wrestling Association. First match of the evening was won by Greg Peterson over Dick Dunn. Now we have the second one going here. Moving in position, Tyler and the intern kind of reverses things and rips Rip Tyler into the ring. The ring buckles actually. Now you've got to watch the choke hold. And the referee warns him. Smashed to the head by the intern. Tyler coming into the turnbuckles, comes off of them, and goes all the way over into the other corner as the intern works him over pretty good with a kick to the face now. Got him into the turnbuckles again. Puts a smash into the midsection. Right over the top of the head, but Tyler retaliates. Gets one to the middle, then one to the uh, mask. Now they're beginning to slug it away. Tyler back into the ropes. Body drop by the intern. And Tyler is in a reverse position for a pin. And the intern. Sends Tyler into the canvas. Now Tyler kind of changed things around and he botched. Here he comes off the ropes with a knee drop. Tyler got that foot planted right at the throat now and he's being warned to break it up. Another knee drop to the top of the head. Okay, there's Tyler. And the intern got out of that press, all right. Now knee to knee, they're going. The intern takes Tyler into the, oh, gets him in the midsection with a knee. The intern got Tyler coming off the ropes with a knee now. Put him in there again. And the stretch hold that Tyler is not able to maintain. And the intern gets him away. And Dr. Ken Ramey is cracked by Tyler, who came over to the ropes, much to the satisfaction of the crowd. Drop on the knees by the intern. All right, the bell is being rung. And Dr. Ken Ramey is in the ring. Rip Tyler is outside of the ring, as you can see. And Tyler gets the verdict on a disqualification due to the fact Dr. Ken Ramey came into the ring. Dr. Ramey is uh, very much perturbed over what has happened. But he'll be back. He manages Sweet Daddy Banks in a tag team bout later on. There's Rip Tyler, as you see. 
down out of the ring. One of the fans comes over to the referee. All right, now, we're going to be back in a moment with more Gulf Coast Wrestling. gentlemen we're ready for our next match which will be one fall with a 20 minute time limit one fall 20 minutes in our next bout Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce first in this one fall 20 minute match on my left, from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing 250 pounds, here is Eddie Sullivan. Eddie Sullivan, Phoenix, Arizona. His opponent tonight, from the Indian Reservation at San Carlos, Arizona, weighing 227 pounds, we present now Chief Thundercloud. Chief Thundercloud. This is one fall, 20 minutes. Thank you. One fall, 20 minute match. Our third bout of the evening. Chief Thundercloud. Eddie Sullivan going over to his corner very slowly. Chief Thundercloud ready to swerve into action, too. And here they are. This is 20 minutes, the time limit in this match. Gulf Coast Wrestling from Mobile's Expo Hall in downtown Mobile. Side headlock by Chief Thundercloud. So we had, uh, so far in the evening of wrestling, Greg Peterson winning the first match. Victory to Rip Tyler by disqualification in the second. Now we have the third. Swing around by Thundercloud on Sullivan. Betty Sullivan is, uh, as we told you, I think, uh, once before, starts a bit slowly to more or less size up his uh, opponent, but then comes on very, very strong do a great job in the ring. Thundercloud, on the other hand, goes to a fast advantage. And from the referee's position, Eddie Sullivan, as what uh, would be termed a chokehold to the throat of Thundercloud. So he is worn. Jimmy McGuire, the referee in this match. Half Nelson. Side mare and that chin lock that's clamped on. Very good double chin lock by Thundercloud. Got it on Sullivan pretty good right now. Got that proper leg leverage also. All important to the hold. Break call as both go into the ropes. 
thundercloud on your right. Sullivan on the left. That arm stretch being used very nicely by the Chief Thundercloud who takes down Sullivan with it. Using now Sullivan takes him down. Sullivan came right back on the same hold. Even up so far. Side mare by Sully and the head scissors. It gets out of it nicely. Comes to a standing position. They're doing uh, very well in the ring. Scheduled for 20 minutes. And a warning goes again to Eddie Sullivan. As Thundercloud catches one to the face now. Kind of uppercut at him. And Chief Thundercloud went down. Thundercloud with a shot right over the right eye. And clobbers at Sullivan now. Sullivan, oh, and he catches that chop. That tomahawk chop right to the middle. And they came up to a good position. Now Thundercloud is after Sullivan. In position now, side headlock by Thundercloud. Looking good all the way. Thundercloud and Eddie Sullivan. Thundercloud bearing down on that side headlock now. Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan delivers a fist shot to the middle. And a shot over the right eye. Into the ring buckles. Sullivan, who is stalking Thundercloud. Shot to the face, and there is the war dance by Thundercloud. Sullivan into the ring buckles. Down he goes, and Thundercloud comes off the ropes with a shoulder block. Here he comes again. Now, there's Sullivan with that Boston Crab, which he utilizes so well. And let's see, there will be the submission by Chief Thundercloud. And Sullivan stands up, refuses to release the hold, and Eddie Sullivan is the winner of this match. So Sully wins it. Sullivan defeats Chief Thundercloud in our third match of the night. And I'll tell you, it was a good one. It was a real good match by these two men. Eddie Sullivan coming out of the ring, and so is Chief Thundercloud. And the referee is talking to Thundercloud, and uh, Eddie Sullivan is coming over toward us. Eddie, you're the victor in this match. That's right. Now, I got something to say. Okay. I'm not here for my health. I'm not here to please anybody. I'm here to win matches. Yes, you do. Every win is money in my pocket. Now, I would like to say this, Jack. I went to a lot of trouble. I mean, a lot of trouble. I went to the commission. I went to the National Wrestling Alliance. And I took a tape. And I showed these people. I showed them exactly what Ken Lucas done to me. And I showed them exactly how the type of tactics that Lucas uses. Right. Now, I would like... You want, I, I you would want like, the people to see right. this, I would match. like the people right? to see this. Okay, Eddie, right. we're going to see it in just a moment. It's all ready to go, but now let's pause for station identification.
They know that the man used a thumb to beat me. Well, anytime you hit anybody with a thumb in the throat, you can get defeated just well, like that. Well, that's right, Eddie, but I think, uh, in all fairness, I want to say some people would dispute that statement by yourself. Well, the thing is this, uh, Jack, it's just like I said a few minutes ago. There, there. Oh, you see, see that right there? Yeah. Just picked it up on the monitor right here. Now Young we Luther got it. Just use a thumb. Just now use a thumb on me. And that's the only reason that the man beat me right there. Mm -hmm. Everybody around here in this arena thinks that he's a clean wrestler. They think that he is one of the best in the country. Well, that shows you right there the type of tactics that this man uses to defeat his opponent. Now, like I said before, I went to the National Wrestling Alliance, to the State Athletic Commission, and I got the okay, I got Ken Lucas right where I want him, mm -hmm. exactly where I want him. I got Ken Lucas in a position where he's going to have to give me another match, and it's going to be sooner than everybody thinks. Well, I'll tell you right now. Well, I think uh, you brought your point home, though, Eddie, come to think of yeah, it, as, I'm as our monitor thing, went on. As you will see here in, a, in, in just a second, the man, the man's face is bloodied. I busted his head open with my fist. I always bust heads open with my fist. I don't use no chairs. I don't use nothing. Yeah, well, that's true. That's, that's true. Right. I'll agree to that. I've seen enough of your matches. Now, I want you to look at that, Jack. I see him. That's right. Now, the man, I got him exactly where I want him. I got him in a position where he can't give nobody else a match for the belt until he gives me one. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it's going to be. I see. Super Sullivan always gets what he wants, Jack. I don't care how much money I have to spend. I don't care. Well, there's, a big, there's, there's a picture right there. Look at yeah. Lucas right there. I've got him busted up so bad. You know what's funny about this? Super Sully is what's happening today in the wrestling business, and these people around here don't like it, and I frankly don't give a hang. I'm telling you right now. That's right. Well, we're still uh, we're still into this. That's right. Oh, yeah, this was a two out of three fall match. But I'm going to show you right here the, how dirty the man is. Well, let's see what transpires. That's, That's all right. we can do you see, right there now. There he goes again. There he goes again. He used a thumb again. Is that? Oh, I've got him going now. I've got him going. You see that? I can beat the man anytime I want to, Jack. Got I know him. I can. There's got no doubt in, in my that. mind. Got him there, back I in this corner. Right there. You well, see how I had him going right there? All right. Well, terrific performance, Eddie. I've got to agree to that. Against it's like, tough... I, like I said a minute ago, Jack, I don't care what these people like, what they dislike. I'm here to win matches. I don't care how I win them. Ken Lucas is on my list, and I'm not going to be happy until I get my belt back. That belt belongs to me. It's my belt, and I'm going to get it back. I'm going to put it around my beautiful body one more time. Okay, I don't care Eddie. what any of these Listen, hillbillies around here we, say. We got to go off. All right, we're going to take time right now for Gulf Coast Wrestling. Be back in just a few minutes. All right, we're in the second fall of this Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship match. The first fall was won by the Wrestling Pros. And this is the second fall upcoming. Right now, there's an argument uh, over the first fall, which just concluded. There you see the fans, the challengers claiming a foul that one of the pros came off the top strand of the rope. But the first ball goes to the pros Gulf Coast Tag Team title match. Two out of three falls. There's pro number one coming off of the ropes and gets that knee into the midsection of challenger number two. This has been a great match. Real outstanding bout. Been sensational in all aspects. The challengers are defending their titles. They are the Gulf Coast title holders. Pro number two brought in pro number one. 
And they challenge for the belts in this match at Mobile's Expo Hall tonight. And it's been a thrilling one. Challenger number one into the ropes. Pro number one. Pro number one got hit in the stomach there. So both are down and the referee has begun his count. Challenger number two is in there. Here comes pro number two. Putting a shot in the midsection. And there's that suplex that pro number two uses so well. However, Down goes the pro, let's see, that's pro number two. And there's the bell on that one. And a victory for the challengers. And they square it at one apiece. One apiece right now. So for our Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship match, we'll be back in just a moment. This is our third and final fall for the Gulf Coast Tag Team Wrestling Championship. Third and final fall. This will decide it right here. The challengers who are the current champions defending against the wrestling pros in a great match. Well, look who's walking behind us now. That's Big Red. Big, big, big Red, what are you doing here tonight? You're not on the card. Well, last week they put a little something on me. I just want to, I hope the pro them break the neck. I want to know the match with them, but I hope the pro them break the neck. And I just want to see if everything going to go all right. Okay. So if you don't mind me sitting out here, I'm going to stay out in with you a little while. Okay, fine. Right. I think there's a chair over there in the yeah. corner if you want to pull it up. Big Red just came on the scene, said he wants to watch this match with us. So uh, we'll call him in. Hey! Come on, Big Red, you can sit right with us and yeah, help us describe yeah. the action, okay? Uh, Fine. You see, you see that thumb? Yep. You see the same thing last week. I can't stand it, guys. Where I come from, we don't wrestle like that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If I ever get the chance to put it on him, Lord have mercy. Look at the double team. Look at that. Yep. He's finally leaving. Third and final fall. Big Red, popular favorite here, not only in Mobile, but in the Gulf Coast area, is sitting with us. He wants to see the pros win this match desperately. Get it on, bro. Well, they did good in the first fall, Big Red. And then uh, second fall cost him. Yeah. Two good teams, though, are at work here for the Gulf Coast. Yeah, both, I admit both of them professionals and everything, but what the, what the challenges them do, they, hey, they ain't got to do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. I know what you're talking about. They get, they get a, well, there's Pro. I'm a hitting Pro. Pro number one coming in anyway. Break it out. I think we did, did not see a tag on that oh, one. It. Hey. Good knee work right there, wasn't it? Right, that's right. That's what they need. That's what they deserve. Wants to get that knee. That's right. And does. Ooh, I like that kind of stuff, you Jack. Like that? I like that kind of stuff. It's a lot of action. And this Ooh, yep, sir. Put it on There's the a good shot. Nice judo chop in there, yes, Red. Sir. It pleases me to see that kind of stuff on the guys like that. Boy, they catch him. Stay on it, baby. And challenger number two caught one right in the knee. Body slam. Go! 
by Brown. There is a dive by Brown. Gouging going on there, Red. Talking. That's what I'm talking about. Tag off is to challenger one. Hooked a good elbow. Stopping right now on throw number one. Yeah, he got the tag. Got Hit that him, tag. Bro. Put it on him. Well, here's the double team again. In that That's corner. Do all night, all night long. Very disturbing, isn't it? Woo! I wasn't brought up like that. Well, right, I didn't see you earlier. No, I, I, I wasn't even supposed to be here tonight. I just yeah. came and want to see the match. Just I just came for the main event. The main huh? event. I oh. want to see him whoop so bad, I've canceled out a booking just to be here. You know what I mean? That knee, good knee left there. Well, look at that challenger pick up throw number two. I see you should break the hole now. You already on tag. Hey, see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Body slam this time by challenger number one. There you go. He got out. He got a lot of fight left there. Mm -hmm. I need to get this fun now. Well, the pros are already going in action now. Hit him again! Woo! There I go! There yeah. I go! There's that suplex. Come on! Can't what? Can't what? Oh! Pro is down on a suplex that time. You saw what happened. By challenger number two, yeah. He got in there some way. He got in there some way. I was, was that on his glove or... Somebody's glad to hit him in the back of the head. Well, they're still at it in the ring now, and we'll keep oh, put it on him, We'll keep it here. And be telling you all about it. Get up, bro. This big red sits on our right here. And the challengers and the pros. Man, I, I still can't sit on my lung, my seat getting hot. My, my well, hot. I two, I two against it. one, and Red, Big Red has left us here at ringside, and it's coming into the ring. There's Big Red, much to the crowd's delight. He's working over, he was worked up here, and he's working over on the challengers. Big Red, he's waiting for the other pro to body slam. Another body slam now, and another one. This time it's Big Red in on the scene. Outside the ring is challenger number one. Boy, they're working over these challengers now. Well, Big Red, after seeing one of the challengers Come in to double team his partner. Big Red finally could stand it no longer and came into the ring. He was sitting here rather placidly and calmly. And then all of a sudden he said he couldn't stand it any longer and uh, came jumping into the ring. And there he leaves right now. That's Big Red, but the challengers have held on to the championship in a two out of three fall match, and they have defeated the wrestling pros number one and two. So, got a scramble with kids in the ring right at the present time. Well, that's about the story from Mobile's Expo Hall. It's been an exciting night of Gulf Coast wrestling. 
Expo Hall in the heart of downtown Mobile. So we're going to leave you now, and we hope you've enjoyed Gulf Coast Wrestling at its best. And we'll see you next time wrestling comes your way on television. This is Jack Bitterman speaking for Gulf Coast Wrestling, wishing all of you a very happy good night. You've been watching Gulf Coast Professional Wrestling presented each week by the Gulf Coast Wrestling Association, member of the National Wrestling Alliance. Our opening bell. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first match of the evening. It will be two out of three falls with a 30-minute time limit. Two out of three with a 30-minute time limit. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, on my left he is from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing 220 pounds. Here is Donnie Stewart. Donnie Stewart from Memphis, Tennessee, making his first appearance in Mobile. Opposing him tonight in the opposite corner, from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 219 pounds, we introduce Cowboy Bob Kelly. Cowboy Bob Kelly. This is two out of three falls, the time limit, 30 minutes. Thank you. Underway. Gulf Coast Wrestling, your promoter is Lee Fields from downtown Mobile at the Expo Hall. And looks like we're off to a fast start. First appearance in Mobile. Arm dragged down by Cowboy Bob Kelly on Donnie Stewart and another one. And a third one. And Stewart is complaining that Kelly is. Pulling on his trunks, Billy Lamp here is the referee for our opening match. And there you get a good close shot. There's our cameraman doing outstanding work always. Right at ringside, you get that good view. Like in there. Grinding. Front headlock now that Cowboy Bob Kelly has on Donnie Stewart. Donnie's right foot goes over the lower strand of the rope, and a break call is given. This is two out of three. 30 minutes the time limit. Have upcoming Bruce Langford and Sweet Daddy Banks. That's going to be a two out of three fall or two. Great matches for you tonight. Kelly now trying to push off and does with his feet. Pushes off Stewart. Leg trip. Stewart is kicked off again, and Cowboy Bob Kelly's using those feet very effectively. I've seen him do that before, but uh, not as often as he's doing it here. Seems to have uh, utilized a new style. Side headlock now by Stewart. Stewart has it. I'm going to pull at the hair of Kelly. Referee moving around in good position now. And Kelly is forcing Stewart's head back, trying to break out of this hole. But Stewart, now, now by sh sheer strength, he tries to get out of it, but Stewart's pretty strong himself. There's a belt to the top of the head. All wrestling announcers are appointed and approved by the Gulf Coast Wrestling Association. There goes Bob Kelly stalking after Stewart. Stewart wants a little uh, room. Hey, 
Beautiful move there by Cowboy Bob Kelly. He's got that arm lock in there. No! 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 And Kelly is telling Lampier, the referee, that he did not pull his hair. I got you. Okay, one three, you got it made. One three, step two. Okay. Kelly said he wasn't pulling the hair of uh, Donnie Stewart, and then suddenly Donnie used his hands to grab Kelly's hair and go to the advantage. Arm bar now by Donnie Stewart. Well, this is the first time we've seen him, but uh, he does a good job in that ring. From Memphis, Tennessee. That's a good leg trip. That was the only way that uh, Kelly could get out. So he proceeded to do just that. But an overhead arm lock now. You know you lie. You know you lie. Okay. Being warned again is Donnie Stewart. Donnie is after him now, after Cowboy Bob Kelly. And Kelly is flailing away now. And Stewart and flips him with a hard right hand. Side mare twists him around, and Kelly's really moving into uh, Stewart now. This is two out of three. Here's the Bulldog. Cowboy Bob Kelly using that Bulldog hole, and he wraps it up. He takes the first fall. Brilliantly done. An outstanding match here. Going on right now, it's two out of three. They still have time to go. Well, that bulldog hold is something to see. And when Kelly gets it just right, man, it's devastating. Now we're going to take a Gulf Coast Wrestling timeout. We have a guest here. Sweet Daddy Banks is sitting on uh, my right. left, right That's at the right. ringside Daddy table. I came down to look at this cowboy. I heard a lot of talk about this cowboy. You know what I'm talking about? Well, you know, every time I wrestle that guy, you know what I'm saying? I, it costs me a little money. And I, it costs me a little money. I always have to give him some. You know what I'm talking about? I never really got a chance to get the guy, you know, the way I want him. Oh, you, in other words, you're always putting up some money. Putting up the money to get him in the ring, and he always being a tag team and get a partner. He, every time I get in the ring, he's not in the ring. You know what I'm talking about? Never get a chance to do it, but I want to come out here in TV land and show these people uh, 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 the sweetest thing since Mama's apple pie. And I want to check on this Kelly and see just what he got to offer. You know what I'm talking about? I heard that he's a tough customer. He's a tough customer. He is. But I do not take that away from the guy, but you know something? I'm just a little tougher. I know I'm just a little tougher, so I'm going to sit here ringside with you, Jack, All right, and I'm going to just, you know, just All right. scope you the guy out to see sure. exactly what the guy knows. Well, you know what I'm talking about? To find out what kind of movement, find out how he, I, just in general how he wrestles and okay. see what he got to offer. See if he got anything that's devastating that might hurt. You go ahead and do the commentating and I'll just sit here and watch, okay? Okay, well since you put it like that, you know, okay. I see Kelly got a headlock on the man. Just a little headlock. He takes the man over and the man's on the, the man on the mat. At this time, at this particular time, Kelly had the advantage, but the man reached up, pulled him by the chin and took him over. Now he's taking the man. He 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 might be stretching the rules a little. Yeah, he's biting. He's stretching the rules just a little. I won't say bite. He's just stretching the rules just a little. You know, Kelly gave him a nice knee. That was fairly decent. He's yep. a fairly good wrestler. He took him over. He took him over. But the man is smart. Can you see that? The man is smart. He got out the ring.
Kelly went for that bulldog, and I heard that that's a devastating hole. He can really hurt. He breaks shoulders on that, and he, you know something? He can even break people's neck. So I better watch out for that. I understood it's a dangerous hole. You're talking about uh, Kelly's, Kelly's bulldog. bulldog. He was trying to sit the man up for the bulldog, but the man was smart enough to get out the ring. He's got a tough customer in yeah, there. That's right, he got a tough Have customer. You wrestled him before? No, I never wrestled Donnie a guy Stewart. before, but I know the guy. I know the guy personally. He's a tough customer. And he can dish it and he can take it. He can dish it and he can take it. He's a strong individual. Kelly got a headlock now. He take the man over. He's trying to sit the man up for the bulldog, but I'm 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 quite sure the man is uh, uh, aware of all this. Kelly got the advantage now with just a headlock. He's sitting the man up. He's trying to work on his neck, upper body, where he can really put the man out. Put him down for that fatal three count. But you know the man is smart. Well, as you see, the man reached up, got a chin again, got a chin again. He's stretching the rules a little, which I can, I cannot say. Uh, I'm gonna go get in that ring. there, sweet daddy. Well, I say stretching the rule. Well, you call it what you want, I call it what I want. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. What Kelly's using? What Kelly's using? He's stretching the rules now. Kelly's stretching the rules. He's sending the man. Look at Kelly sending the man up with a bulldog. Like I told you, the man is smart. He knows exactly what's going down. He knows exactly well, what's going down. Well, look at after, yeah, yeah, Kelly losing this cool. Kelly losing this cool. He's running around the ring. I think the man gonna get him. I know the man gonna get him. I know the man. Oh, the man. Yeah. What? Well, uh oh, tripped over the rope. Yeah. Oh my goodness. In this son? Look like Kelly got a, a slight advantage, but I'm sure the man gonna. I'm sure the man gonna do it. Oh my goodness. Can you? Oh. Boy, oh boy, boy. Sweet Daddy comes into the ring. Well, Sweet Daddy came into the ring, but uh, Cowboy Bob Kelly with, oh, say that big guy. He, <laughs> that surprise, Sweet Daddy. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't think that was coming. He was moving into him and suddenly was moving away from him. Now I think uh, Sweet Daddy Banks knows he's got his work cut out for him. He's got that side headlock, but it's slipping off. But he gets he gets good amount of strength behind it. Now he's got it. And Langford, Bruce Langford, forces him. In. Whoop! And Bruce gave him a shot to the midsection there. Fort Smith, Arkansas, his home, Langford, 2-9-0. Making his debut in Mobile at the Expo Hall. TV wrestling, Gulf Coast wrestling at its very best. Back into the turnbuckle, rather back into the ropes, not the turnbuckle. Shot to the middle by Sweet Daddy. Holds up that arm. Another one and down goes Big Langford. Sweet Daddy, real serious about this now. Not gonna waste any time, he feels. He better get this big fella quick before he's worn down. It's a nice move by Banks. It's a one count and that's all. Jimmy McGuire is the referee in this match. So we have him going. There's Langford, big as he is. He has Banks against the ropes. Gets him off and an overhead flip by Langford. There's the press by Langford. Let's see, he gets a two count. Gets a two count. Sweet Daddy belling away. There's a suplex. That's a suplex, and he's got it on the big fella. And Sweet Daddy had that one good, just the way he wanted it. He comes into him. Oh boy, that whole ring goes clunkety. Steve, watch yourself. That bell may be in your lap. 
Big man sweep daddy bags. Taking the first fall. Oh boy. He's strong. Picked him up in a body slam. Picked up Langford. Kick away. Sweet Daddy Banks has some real good moves. And now Langford is getting some in there too. Trading with Sweet Daddy. You can see the size of this man. By comparison, there are Marines from Pensacola. Don just getting a shot of those boys at ringside. And they're rooting it up as Marines can. Bring it out! Bring it out! Side headlock, Langford. Bring it out. But Banks with a good show of strength. Forces Langford into the corner. Off the ropes. Caught one right to the midsection. As he came off the ropes. Sweet Daddy moving into him now. Getting those kicks in there. Whoop. You see him right there? Jammed up at the Adam's apple. Step over, knee drop that time by Sweet Dad. Those, those are the Marines right there. Happy to have them in Mobile. They're stationed in Pensacola. Crowd is really telling Langford to go get him. Could not do it. That suplex again. Oh boy. And down goes Langford. One, two, three. Got it. 